So I was having a problem with threads for this big box that I was trying to print. And here's the box. And no matter what I did, I tried supports, I tried slowing down the overhangs. Um, everything I tried didn't work. The only thing that worked was lowering the layer height. So you can see in this one, it looks pretty good, but this is, you know, the kind of thing I was having happen. And sometimes it would even be worse. So what I did to test it is I just dropped the box down below the bed so that I could test different settings and uh, find the one that's gonna work for my box. So I'm gonna show you what actually worked. So here we are in Bamboo Studio, and I have my box bottom here in, this, in the slicer. And so what I ended up having to do is I left it on the standard 2.0 standard layer height, but I decided to use the variable layer height. And you can click on it and you can change some settings. Up here is the adaptive, so the quality and speed. And this seemed to work. You can use the smooth and it's going to give you a different layer heights for that. And you can go over to the side and you can see what layer heights it's going to use. And what we need is the very fine one for the top of the box, which is in green. I haven't tried the smooth one, but I did use the adaptive one. One I actually used was set all the way to zero and it actually turned out really well. So. If you're having problems with threads and they're, they're stringing, especially round threads like this and this large diameter, I didn't have this on my smaller boxes, but this large diameter seemed to have problems. So if you're having that problem with your threads, try the, the variable layer height. And this is the only thing that you can use that's going to make your print still come out in a reasonable time. So one hour and 26 minutes. So here's the result of using the variable layer height. And you can see the, the threads look really good. I don't have any stringing. I didn't have to clean them up. And the whole box turned out beautiful. Even the sides that were printing a little bit faster turned out really nice. And so uh, give it a try. I had no idea that um, they had a variable layer height.